Logging in Mixer the Robot. Technopod Studios is online. Configuring Satellite Connection. Broadcast link is established. Initializing ET and typewriter. Serving burritos. The Technopod show begins in 3, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. Hello and welcome to the Technopod Studios. It's the Technopod Show, the awe-inspiring Dungeons & Dragons adventures of E.T. and Type Rider. I'm E.T. I'm Type Rider. Uh, Today, we are here with our friends playing a rousing game, well, a session, if you will, of Dungeons & Dragons, uh, the classic game of uh weapon manipulation and uh role playing i mean right if i'm not mistaken that's right okay the game of of fighting over rules and uh rolling dice that's the one that is the exact one basically so the listener isn't confused i mean if you're tuning in for for a show about techno um i'm just i just want to apologize i'm slightly superstitious this is episode 13 and we really haven't had a show yet where we weren't interrupted or derailed or um, attacked or I had to tell some long story. And I just feel like it's not even worth trying to do the real show and talking about music and stuff. So um, I just wanted to maybe play a, a friendly game of D&D today um, with some of our friends. We've been talking about doing it for a while and... I figured it was as good a time as any, you know, and and hopefully nothing, uh, yeah, ridiculous happens that like it normally does when we try to record. I mean, I hope so. Well, I don't know, but um, I guess uh, where where, where should we start? Should we introduce everybody and and go over like our house rules and? Yes, yes, I think that's a good idea. I think first of all, we should introduce uh, the people that our viewers or listeners don't know and you each of you should say your name and the character that you are playing so people know exactly who you are um we will start off with manny oh what's the deal with uh this game all right manny calm down manny that's that's enough jokes that's actually it's not really even a joke what's the deal no manny just your name please and maybe where you're from or something all right, my name's Manny the Manatee. I'm uh I'm from the Manatee Nebula. I uh I live in a uh, apartment. Uh, have a neighbor, a best friend, and an ex girlfriend. Okay. And I do stand up comedy on the side. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, moving on. Can you tell us about your character? Oh, do you want to save like maybe character sheets for for when we when we come back? This is just uh maybe introduce. Uh, just the people, you know. We'll just introduce the players. Yeah, we'll introduce the players. Oh, okay, we'll we'll just uh, okay. Yeah, and then right. house rules, and then we'll we'll go over our character sheets that we rolled up. Okay, that's fine. So, um, how about how about how about Jeremiah? You go. You can go next. Okay, that sounds good. Um, uh, my, my name is Jeremiah. I'm a I'm a crab, obviously from the Crab Nebula. Of course. Um. I like origami and uh, chocolate chip cookies. Um, and I'm uh, I um um I um hi. Oh, that's that's yeah, dude. Yeah. Don't uh, don't worry about it. Just you don't you don't have to. Don't d- there's no pressure. We're just this is for fun. Pretend we're not even recording, okay? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Just. Well. Uh, let's just move on for right now. I feel like you forgot. Like. Just. Yeah. He just sounds really fucking nervous. Okay. He sounds super nervous. I mean, normally he likes horses, but he didn't even go into that. It's always origami and horses with them. Yeah. Don't be nervous, man. Okay. Um. Another. The next player that we have is. Um. We haven't even really met him in person yet. The. You know. Yeah. Um. Uh. Jer- Jerry. Jerry. 
I, I'm used to calling him Jeremiah, but he, you go by Jerry too, right? Uh, that's correct. Okay. But anyways, Jerry and uh, Manny, of course, have been telling us that we had to meet this guy. Um, he well, why don't you introduce yourself? Boggy. Bogsworth. Okay, Boggy Bogsworth. Boggy Bobby Bogsworth. Boggy. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have Boggy Bogsworth. That's good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Boggy. Um. Sorry about that. I didn't. I didn't mean to call you. You. Bobby. Okay, okay, yeah. Jesus. All right. Chill out over there. Okay, so we've got our players, and, you know, as everybody knows, here at the Technopod Studios, we have a few, like, house rules. First of which, for a D&D game, chickens are, are a playable race. Mm-hmm. That's correct. I mean, it goes... No explanation necessary. Also, we, we um prescribe to a few other rules where, where it's um 20s are, are uh double damage uh, when you when you get them on your attack rolls yes they're uh they're critical they're critical rolls it's like you did a really good job if you get a 20 and inversely oh, if, I, pardon well, me i don't want to roll a 20 what a buggy wants to roll a 20 he he's i i kind of speak slime i spent some time uh dating the slime princess so i kind of speak slime a little bit but yeah he he's excited to roll some 20s oh yeah of course yeah 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 um and then okay well of course yeah we all are um except me because i'm the game master but uh go ahead well anyways um and and alternatively rolling a one of course is is a critical botch which not good. We will be refer- referencing a percentile dice uh, for any botched rolls, and uh, they're going to be able to refer to a table uh, that will tell them what fate they befall um, if they do happen to roll that uh, critical failure of a one. Uh, and that's something that nobody wants, uh, especially not the GM for any of his rolls, because it can even end up having a bad influence on what the characters do. So I'm going to try my best not to roll that. Okay. What um were there any other house rules? Can't remember what we we should write this stuff down, but um Well no no no, it's just the chicken is playable, one is a botch, twenty is a double. Okay, I feel like there was something else. Shit, here, hold on. I think I have a sheet here. Oh no, it's right by you. Can you grab that? Yeah, sure. Just tell me what it says. Oh, oh, right here on the paper, of course. Um zap energy. Official official drink of D and D games, and uh, it says also not to let Spark anywhere near the game board pieces or dice because he will eat them. Oh, yes. Well, but that yeah, that that is a house rule. Okay, all right. Uh, so no Spark near the game pieces. He will eat them. Yes. Okay. Let us get back to the game because we are wasting way too much time on this introductory stuff. We're not even going to be able to get a full session in at this point. Um, if we just keep going like this, so why don't we get back to well, right. shit. Yeah, we'll we'll go to our break first. No, let's go to yeah, let's definitely go to our break. Yeah, we'll go to a break. What's the deal with breaks? Okay, Manny, <laughs> please. They're good, please. But it sounds like something that's bad, Manny. No, that's stop. Just fucking stop, please, please. This is not a stand-up club. God damn it! All right, so. So for our first break, we're going to be playing music from a new release on Audio Exit Records. The album's called The First Wall. The artist is Doem. And uh, first track, Cataclysm.
and welcome back uh, to the Technopod. Thank you for showing up. This is uh, the D&D episode for those of you who somehow didn't listen to the first part but came in at the here. I don't think that's even possible. Uh, we are. I That's why I'm saying I'm just I want to cover my ass. Uh, but this is we're going to just start right where we left off. OK, right where we left off before the uh, before the last session. OK, well. Of course, you're the game master or dungeon master. Right. I am the game master. And we we actually we should introduce roles really quick so we can get to the game. Um, but why don't why don't we go around the table starting with E.T.? We'll just go E.T., Jeremiah, Manny and then Boggy. Uh, E.T., start and tell us who you are. Right. I, of course, am invoking the house rule since I made it. And my character is is, of course, um. Uh, his name is Frank, um, named after my, my favorite hot sauce, and, and he is a, a chicken, um, a barred chicken. Frank's he, is good, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's man. just really good. I'm glad. I'm, I've, I've, always, I've always known that that's, you didn't even tell me, but I knew that that's why you named him Frank. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's yeah. got to be based on the hot sauce. Right, yeah. I, I name most of my D and D characters after hot sauce. I name everything after my hot sauces. I mean, I name Sweet Baby Ray's as my cat, and that's mm-hmm. a that's not even a hot sauce. It's a barbecue sauce. But yeah, I name my cat that for it's sure. Kind of breaking the rule. Well, not really though, because there is there are no house rules for life. You should get that engraved on something. That's deep. I'm gonna get a tattoo on my anus. Hmm. You have to check that out. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> sure. um, of course, of course, Frank. The uh, barred chicken is is uh, highly skilled in song and dance, and can give his teammates buffs and and of course um maybe distract enemies and, and things like that. So okay, uh, all right, Jeremiah, do not worry. Okay, just don't freak out. Just say who your character is. Let us know what they do, and then we'll move on. That's it. Okay. Um. Her, um, I'm, I'm Stanlin Fadden, um, a tiefling rogue. A tiefling is basically a half a demon, a dragon-like creature. Uh, my, my job as a rogue is to break, break into stuff, um, uh, uh, pickpocket people, and, uh, my rogue's backstory is that, uh, He studied origami for 10 years like me, and then he became uh, very deft with his hands. All right. uh, Thank you. That's that's good. Thank you. See, nothing to worry about. We're all friends here. Nobody's judging anybody. This is no judgment zone. All right. I forgot. I forgot my backstory. Of, Of course, Frank the chicken, using his bardic skills, escaped from a chicken farm. Mm hmm. By by lulling the uh, farmer to sleep with his chicken, with his songs. chicken guitar. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I chicken loot. Right. I right. was there. I was there. All right, uh, Manny, tell us what's going on. Who are you? What's the deal with my character? Oh my god, fucking! He's he's an elf and he's a wizard. Yep. His, uh, what's his name? Wait, what? His name is Robert Sacamano. He's, he's, uh, blessed with lots of skills, like flying. What's the deal with flying, am I right? I mean, you always get those tiny food. Okay, Manny. Uh, that, that's kind of a stand-up joke, I guess. Manny, just, um, well, can you, if you could just cut to the chase, where I'm fucking serious, we're running out of time, and I don't want to waste any more time, can you just... Tell us your backstory as quickly as possible. Do not make a joke out of it. Well, please, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be mean, but we have to fucking do this. Well, Robert Sacramento, he was a butler for a famous wizard. And uh, after a few years, he, he uh, picked up the trade and now he's a wizard himself. Wow, I, I cannot believe you didn't try to say a joke. I'm actually pretty impressed. Well, he is right. my butler. What? What do you mean? What was? What did? What did you just what? say? Well, what? Did, no, I'm serious. What did you just say? What? Like you said something. Well, he's my wizard. He's he was my he was a butler, and then now he's my wizard. 
He's my wizard. I, what? Oh uh, yeah, uh, Boggy. What can you tell us, please, about your character? Oh, my, my. Buggy, are you gonna be okay? Would you like a uh, water or something? No, no, that's how slimes talk. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, okay, don't, no, don't no, no. Continue. Racist, I'm man. sorry. I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. He's my 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 character is the big breasted assassin. He said, um, "Big breasted assassin." Could you could you hear that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of yeah. I got it. A big breasted assassin. Yeah. What's her name? Is it is it even a woman? Is it a man with big breasts? Is the question? That is a good question. Sure. I kind of. I, I'm leaning towards. I hope not. What's a fe- female? Oh, it's a female. Okay, thank you. Awesome, the female. Awesome. Well, that's interesting that you made her big breasted. Um, all right. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, that's correct. Yes. Okay. Um, why don't we get to the game? Um, I'm going to set you guys back up where we were, and then we can keep playing from uh, what we were playing. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. Great. Great. All right. <clears throat> Okay, uh, where we last took off on our adventure, where we last left off, you guys were in the Tower of Malthor. Now, Malthor is the sorcerer that you guys had had a run-in with about three sessions ago, if you guys don't remember. He had that crystal ball that he hurled at you, and it exploded, and it, all of its shards went all over the place, and you've been sent on a quest to put them back together to, I guess, imprison him again. So you guys are on the second level of the tower uh, the last encounter that you had were with some tower guards who were actually hippogriffs uh, dressed up as Michael Jacksons. And now, on the second level, uh, the first thing that you had seen, and all of you were still hidden from the last session, you're still in stealth mode, uh, what you had seen was a pair of troglodytes walking up and down the hallways protecting something that looks like a chest. Uh, so, E.T., what, what, I mean, like, what are you all doing? E.T., we could start off with you. Okay, yeah. Um I think that that my character of course being being a bard, I, I think I'm going to use one of my songs to uh possibly either distract or or lull to sleep the uh the troglodytes. Okay. I think that's that's what I would go for. I'm going to need you like to do me a favor like if you can, can you like r- maybe role play a little bit? And this applies to everybody. But can you like kind of role play and and kind of make it a little more fun? All right. So you want me to role play my chicken singing? Uh, all right. Um. Just just give me a second here. Let me get in. Let me get into character. Okay, great. Uh, why don't you, can you do me a favor? Uh, let's see, AC for this. Okay, uh, do me a favor. Roll a d20, please. Okay. Come on. Uh, oh, 16. Okay, what? well, uh, let me, here. I'm gonna do this behind the screen here. Okay, um, it looks like one of them has been affected by the song. He is not asleep, but he looks very confused. He's kind of like looking around the area with a dazed face. The other one is not cognizant of how the other of how the other troglodyte is acting. The confused one, and he keeps pacing back and forth. It's almost like he's on like a path, like he's been hired to just do that movement. Um, mm-hmm. so so it mm-hmm. kind of worked. Um, Jeremiah, why don't you tell us what you're gonna do? Well, um. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to pickpocket the troglodyte that's confused. Ooh, good um, idea. What? Good idea, man. 
No, that's a good idea. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no it's, it's fine. Um, okay, I'm going to try to pickpocket him and see if there's anything that uh, we can use against them. Um, I, I slither up to the, the troglodyte and I attempt to reach into his purse um, but it looks like I, I was just a couple inches off. Um, so I, I receive back into the shadows. Uh, okay, uh, so do me a favor, roll your d20. Okay. All right, um, what is it? It looks like it came out as a 13. Um, okay, unfortunately, that is... Un, that's like not exactly what you needed uh so you couldn't get anything but they still haven't found you everybody is still kind of enshrouded in the shadows at the southern part of the room if you guys take a look here um the battle map this sector is the north i know i have the map twisted but this is the north this is the south and then Did the two just... doors here are facing to the east so that's where you have to go. Manny, doesn't it look like typewriter just drew a big penis on the table? Okay. Yeah, what's the deal? All right. Shh, I heard, I heard whisper, you. Man. First of all, E.T., I fucking okay, heard man. you. Second what? of all, Manny is the loudest fucking guy I've ever met in my life. Um, Jesus Christ. All right. Sorry, man, but. No, I know. I mean, it, ha, the, ha, ha, it looks like circle. a fucking penis. I don't, I don't think just... that's funny. I don't even have a penis. I know. I know. You're uh, it's crap, not funny. But... It's childish. And it's fucking stupid. Um, All right. Okay. Whatever. Manny, can you please can you please take your turn? Yeah. I guess if my character is a wizard, I might use one of my spells. So uh, let's see. What's the deal with a fireball? I. What do you? What does that fucking mean? Are you asking what a fireball is? What's the deal with it? Can you? Are you? Are what? you gonna like roll? Are you gonna actually do something? I want to cast a fireball. Great. Okay, please go. Please do it. Well, let's see. It's hard to roll these dice with my flippers. Okay, just... Whatever. I got a... 13! Okay. What's the deal with that? Same as your episode number. That is weird. That's that twice is... in a row. Uh, oh, but, man. yeah, okay. Uh, who, which one are you casting the fireball at? The confused one or the one that's still walking? Which one's closer? Uh, the confused one is closer. He's re he's actually really close to the columns that you guys are behind. When he's gonna get it? All right. Let's see if he does. Oh, man. It's a zinger. It hits him right in the shoulder, in the pauldron, and uh, it actually, like, sends him reeling and spinning backwards as he actually sets ablaze. Now, Manny... I'm serious, you have to role play, okay? What do you do after it hits him? Well, I jump up and down and I say, Wow, did you see that fireball? Are you kidding me? I think. Oh my god. Okay, Wait. well, you know, I'm not even gonna well, count that again. That's fine. That's what's fine. What's the deal? My character is excitable. Okay. I'm trying I'm to sorry. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. I had no idea. Um What's the deal with this game? You role play and you roll dice. Okay. That's correct. Um, uh, Boggy, before your uh, turn, let me do something real quick. Okay, the, uh, the other troglodyte is now aware of your presence, and he starts coming at you specifically, Manny. Okay? Oh. Whoa! Okay, but luckily it's not his turn yet. He got the lowest initiative, so do me a favor. Uh, Boggy, what are you going to do? Oh. <laughs> I'm a little. I Uh. Okay. Should I just keep translating? Can anybody understand? I don't know. Boggy, can you can you speak like a just a little bit clearer, please, please. Pardon? <laughs> You're oh, an assassin, yes. Attack the oh. Okay, so you're gonna attack. Yeah, I think he said um he wants to attack their shins. Oh the attack that's assassin, good. That's a good so idea. Gonna... Um okay, so Boggy, do me a favor, roll a D twenty to see if it actually hits. Um I'm sorry there, Boggy. Are you having trouble holding 
pulling the dice. Well, it looks your, like it's, it's it looks like it's going into his arm. Can you pull that out? Dice. Okay. Um, here, here. Just I'll help you out here, man. Oh. S- sorry about that. I mean, I, I was trying to help you out. I mean, I mean, I don't have any control over the roll. Uh, no, no, no. You know what? You know what? It's uh, it's 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 fine. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Boggy, don't freak out here. Uh, Et. No, Boggy, chill. No, okay. Et. Sorry, Do me a favor. Yeah. Wrap up. Uh, can grab that paper towel. Uh huh. Wrap it around his hand so he could roll it himself. I'm not gonna count that one. That's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't okay, him. Okay. There you it. go, man. All right, go Boggy. Ahead go ahead. It. Now give it a roll. Wow. Did he just roll the same wow. thing that I did? That is bad luck. All right, I'm sorry, Boggy. Here, roll this percentile dice. There's a 70% chance that nothing bad is going to happen to you, by the way. So don't even... I wouldn't even worry about it, but just roll it for the sake of rolling it. Okay, let's take a look yeah. here on the charts. Oh, man. It looks like you just barely scraped out of that one. I think. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, 10 to 20 is... Um, okay, you are dead. Uh, your character explodes in a bloody mist, never to be seen again. You are dead, forever dead. You will not even have an afterlife. You are dead. That's what it says. Uh, so, unfortunately, Boggy, I'm sorry, but it looks like, uh, it looks like your assassin has died. We'll, we'll make you a new character next game, or next session. Uh, so, are you cool with that, Boggy, if we make, if we make, uh, you a new character? Like, we could just roll it up right now, and then you could keep playing. What? What? Um... What? He he doesn't sound like he likes that that plan. And um he he kind of wants to keep his character it sounds like. But okay, well okay, you know the, what? You're the can we, GM. Can, I know, I know, I understand. Here's what I'm going to do, Boggy. I'm going to pretend that that role didn't exist. I'm going to pretend that you hit him in the shin. I do not do this. I just want to prevent your character from dying so early. You're only level fives. Why don't we take a quick break, and then we'll come back and, and see what happens. Okay, okay. Next, next break, we're going to play a track off the same, same album here, The First Wall by Doem. But uh, this one's called Root, and it's the Robotron remix. <laughs> Okay, we're back. We've mitigated anything that happened in that last round. We assumed that the assassin actually hit uh, the troglodyte in the shins, I guess. I, I don't like to do that, but that was way too early to be dying. Um, so so it, I guess don't worry about it. Um, so I, I, I disagree with your choice, but I, I don't know. I, it just sounds kind of unfair, because I don't think you would do that for me. Well, I mean, I, I Bo- first of all, Boggy's new here. He doesn't, you know, know the dynamics of the group. Second of all, that was just really bad luck. Yeah. Like, also, also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my my two cents in there. But man, that chart seems a bit unfair. You know, well, the twenty percent chance for your character to die. It should be like 
two percent. It should I think. be yeah, it should be lower. You know what? I'm yeah. gonna mitigate this here. I uh, let me fold this down. Mm-hmm. Now it is. You know what? Hey man, I think I think we have a professional folder here that might want to help. Oh that. shit! That's right. Um, Jeremiah. Yeah. Why don't you uh, fold the sheet so there's only a five percent chance of dying? Well, well, that sounds great. Uh, let me show you what I can do. Okay. Well, you did train origami for 10 years. That's correct. Well, I, I can't wait know, to see some yeah. of the folding you got there. Yeah, get ready. This is happening. All right, here you go. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Wow. Isn't that fucking good, E.T.? E.T., yeah, that's... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man... Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow, I, I, I uh, uh, I'm very in, impressed by that. I'm gonna keep this bold. in in the. Uh, uh, I'm gonna keep it somewhere. This is really. I mean, I'm. You studied for ten years. Yeah. Uh, did you take any any breaks? Maybe. No, I mean it was every day uh, at least six hours. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it sh- it shows. I this is, I have chills. Um, okay, we and, should and thank um, you. we should get back. Yeah, for for sure. I, I don't want to. Uh, you know, I don't want to focus on this amazing folding for forever. Uh, okay, so wow. Uh, back to the game. Um, now there's only a five percent chance to die. So yeah, that seems more. That fair. that's a I mean, lot more fair. I think you got to roll fair. the one, and then you have five percent. That seems okay. exactly. Um, okay, so, so uh, we're back in the chamber. Now, both of the troglodytes are dead. Uh, you guys have actually slain both of them. Manny killed one with his fireball. That one that actually set on fire uh, died about two turns into it. Wow! Um, yep. Um, and, uh, and then uh, the large-breasted assassin, uh, Boggy's character, actually killed... Mm-hmm. Uh, the other troglodyte by stabbing it in the shins repeatedly. So now uh, oh you guys God. are in a very large chamber with four columns. You guys were behind the southern columns. There are columns to the north that are mirroring yours, and then there is two door. There are two doors to the east, and what looks like a treasure chest in the middle of the room. Uh, what do you guys do? Anybody? Any? I mean, you guys can um, start whenever you want. It's not we don't have to well, around Robin. Well, um, my my character, I guess I I couldn't do like a healing song. If does anybody have any damage or anything? Um, actually, no. Nobody's nobody's actually hurt yeah. so far. Remember, yeah. we just started the session up, and you had just done your daily heal charge. Uh, the last uh scenario or the last time we played. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So, so everybody looks good. Um, Jeremiah, what what are you what are you gonna what do you want to do? Well. <laughs> Can I check for traps on the chest? Yeah, of, of course. Ooh, nice, that's a that's nice. a really good idea. Um, why don't you? Okay, do me a favor. Wait, let me get the notes here. Okay, okay uh, roll your uh, roll your d twenty. Okay. Sixteen. All right, now roll two d four. Okay. Um, six. Oh. Okay, awesome. Um, there was a trap. Uh, you look really closely, and there is a, I mean, a, a hair thin filament that's going from left to right. And you look at the walls, and you notice that there are small holes. So it, you cut the filament, and it looks like it was actually a dart trap that was going to shoot poisonous darts. So you basically just saved everybody. That was pretty great. Um, nice one. Yeah, awesome. Nice one, Jay. Awesome. Um, would you like to open the chest, or who wants to open the chest? Let's see. Nobody? Um, I'll do um, it. I, I yeah, wanna. I'm a bit nervous. I, I, I'm not sure. I guess you just checked all the traps. But... Yeah, I, yeah, you can, I don't, yeah, I, I took the thunder. You can, you can open it. Oh, I want to open a chest. All right, Manny, um, go ahead. Well, well, as a wizard... I can levitate things. So I want to cast levitate and uh, open the chest. What's the deal with chests? 
They're on your body, and they're in this game. Okay, can um, does somebody else want to open it? Uh, anybody else? Yeah, let's not levitate it. Anybody. That seems really silly. Really silly. Um. Uh, I don't. Who seems most appropriate to open a chest? Uh, Boggy, do you want to do it? Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just go. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. If you go ahead and open it, I'm scared of My character is. He's a chicken. Not, yeah, well. He's, he's a fucking well. chicken, let's be honest. <laughs> Well, yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm my my character's pretty much lives like I don't know, minimalist, I guess, you know, on the road all the time playing songs as a bard. So he's not into huge treasure chests. So so Boggy, why don't you go ahead and and open it? Okay. Um yeah. All right. Well, uh, Boggy, you open the chest, and inside, there is a goblet. Now, this goblet, uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, who is, who, oh, it's E.T. E.T., can you do me a favor and roll a d20? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, perfect. 15. E.T., you realize, uh, because of your historian skill, you realize that mm -hmm. this goblet is a legendary goblet, that grants strange powers to people that don't normally have them. So a human suddenly becomes a wizard. A wizard suddenly becomes a very powerful sorcerer. But it also changes alignments. So anybody that is evil becomes good, and anybody that is good becomes evil. So somebody... It's worth a fuck ton. So if anybody wants to carry it back to town, um, it might... <laughs> You're gonna mine. You're, okay. You, he you want to carry. Boggy wants it. Yeah, he's. Yeah, let's <laughs> do it. Do it. Carry it. Okay, man. Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna infringe on your treasure. I already said I don't want. It. I'm not gonna take it from you. All right. So, uh, so Boggy gets it. Um. Good. Yeah. Um. Okay. So Boggy, can you come here? Like, <laughs> just come closer to me. Okay. Listen. I know that your character is evil, so now that you picked up the cup, you're going to be good for the next few, like, hours, so you can't do anything that's actually evil because it would go against your, like, will when you're holding onto the goblet, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so, okay, so uh, Boggy oh. is going to hold on to the goblet. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? I mean, where's you know, where's Frank going? Uh, well, where's what it? else is in this room? I mean, we're going after that that sorcerer and or the yeah, it was the evil sorcerer we're going after, and um, I, I think that we need to head towards him, but I'm not sure. I guess does my character know which way? Well, the only way the only way out of this room besides where you came from are the two double doors in the east side. Hmm. I'm not sure about the east side. I mean, it's up to you. It's up to you. Well, I think we need to to move towards those doors, maybe check for for traps on them and and, and continue into the next next area. Okay, great. Great. That's that's what I would do. What do you, what do you guys think? Yeah, I what? think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, um, I'll check again. All right, that's great. I mean, you're the you're the rogue. You should check. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, uh, four. Um, you see no traps. Uh, you sense nothing. You can't see any kind of obvious thing that will actually set something off. Um. So that that's good. Um, who wants to go in first? Um, you know we should have had somebody on this team that was a bit more tanky. Just Boggy, seems... Boggy is by far the tankiest out of you all, which is strange. But he yeah, is. he's he's an assassin though. But I know, but he has he actually has the right armor for it. Okay. Um. Well, 
Foggy, do you want to go? Do you want to go first? I can um maybe buff you a little bit with a song if you're you're worried about heading into that room first. <laughs> okay, okay. I was just offering it. You know, I've I'm a bard. I haven't gotten to sing any songs or really help out, so I was just offering it. But okay, all right. Well, let's <laughs> first. Okay, so our Foggy says he wants to go first. Okay, but. All right. He he wants any any of the treasure that we find in the room since he's going first. That's fine. That's fine. All right, I mean, do you guys all agree to this? Um, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Well, if yeah, if nobody has any objections, yeah, let's then do it. Ha- have let's at move it. along. Let's do it. All right, Boggy. Uh, you sure. open the door and you hear a tick. One little tiny tinkling noise. <laughs> Can you do me a favor and roll your d twenty? okay um okay uh all right i you know what i think you got a bit of slime on your die and it's like on the back of it so whenever you roll it just sticks right and it keeps it keeps giving you the five so if you don't mind i want to just take your die and like wipe it off would that be okay? Okay, man. Here, here. I got it. All right. Just let me clean this thing off. Okay, one. Okay. I here. Because it just, just doesn't seem fair. It seems no, like it, it does. Sticks it's not. on it's the not. table every yeah, time. Yeah, it's not. So it's it, not fair. It's not fair. We want this to be, you know, fun and fair. I don't want you just botching every time. But, but there you go, man. Okay, a completely clean dice. Let's do this one more time. One more time. Wow, that's weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That is weird. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter. 5% chance of failure. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Come on. There's like, here, just fucking roll the percentile dice and roll a d20. (laughs) Don't worry about it. Or actually roll the percentile dice and then a d10 if you can. Okay, the percent is zero. (laughs) Can you roll the d20? Or the d10? Three. Um. Okay. Um, Boggy, you walk into the room and you hear a tinkling. Uh, unfortunately, you're not fast enough and the doorway explodes in an arcane bomb essentially and uh you perish uh so unfortunately your character is dead um <laughs> she's dead i don't know what the fuck to tell you. i we played by the rules i even gave you a free fucking roll i basically brought you back to life <laughs> Whoa, no fuck man. you I didn't do any of this. It's your fucking Let's shitty luck. This guy. Don't don't do that. Do not fucking do that. Let go. Please let go. Of the, please let go of the table. Okay. All right. Fine. Fuck you. Fuck. Get the fuck out of my house. Then go. Leave. Leave right now. Yeah. Not that door, man. That's the. The, yeah, that's the airlock. That's, Don't go through there. Don't. Dude, oh my god. He just walked out through the airlock into dead space. I didn't know that slimes could breathe in space. I don't I don't think they can. Well, he's fucking flicking me off. What the hell? God damn it. Alright, well, you know what? Well, um, let's take a break. Let, let's just take a break. I don't care anymore. I don't care about anything anymore. Can we please take a break? Yeah. Um from from Dome, Dome. You know what? I can't even pronounce anything. The first wall on audio exit. This one's called Eternal Pain.
went really badly. Yeah, not the best D and D game I've ever had. I cannot um, fucking believe that he was that fucking pit. Like, how old is he? It's well, a fucking game. It is a. It, it's literally yeah. like the most immature thing somebody can do, and he fucking like brought it to a new level. Yeah, I mean, our team wasn't the best. It kind of, oh man, but he should have took my buff from my chicken. I didn't even get to role play my chicken. I know. Jesus Christ. Um. Well, I we have to end it here. We're like fucking. We're going way over time. So, yes. uh, listen, well, guys. I mean, Manny and and Jeremiah already kind of left. So yeah, they it's dipped. Just us, anyways. They did. Um, uh, Et, can you tell them where they can find our stuff and shit like that? Yeah, guys. If if you enjoy this show and you want to get it, say if you're getting it in iTunes, you can also get it in SoundCloud. And if you're getting it in SoundCloud, you could also get it on iTunes or YouTube. If you're getting it on YouTube, it's also on iTunes and SoundCloud. That cover it all and if you like if you like the show there's the best way that you can um help us out maybe um i don't know the (laughs) best oh my god wow you are fucking fucking choking out there (laughs) oh my god um guys the best way to help out the show is to write an itunes review and leave a five star rating review in itunes you know all the music on today's episode came from from audio exit the new new ep or four five track album from the first wall from dome it's called the first wall links will be at the technopod.com that is correct and uh guys if you do like the art for the show that uh we give out in every episode that we release that is done by master artist ryan clausen you might know him from the show you might know him as the artist behind City Folk, an awesome webcomic that you can find at cityfolk.ca. Support Ryan Kloss, and he's an awesome artist, and he is very, very kind to us. So go fucking check him out. If you want to check us out, you can check us out on Facebook at The Technopod and Electric Type and Typewriter. You can check us out on Twitter at Electric Type at Typewriter. Very simple. You can check us out on Tumblr, and do not forget... That you could also check out Spark on Twitter because he recently got an account and it's it's horrible. It's it's really bad. So you guys should go check it out. Spark underscore the king. Yeah. Spark underscore the king. Not spelling underscore, but the symbol. Um silly. Don't forget uh to go to thetechnopod.com if you guys need any more information about the show. We have everything about the show on that site. We have all the links to the music, the stuff that we talk about, anything. We'll probably link to D&D or something. I don't know. Go check it out. It's a great game. Um, you could also give us donations on the site if you guys are interested in helping us continue recording the show. That would be awesome. That would be great. If you don't, we're probably still going to do it uh, because we don't care. Whatever. It doesn't really matter, but we want to be rich, so fuck you. Um, And if you guys have any other questions or comments that you want to let us know about and you don't want to use all those stupid social media things, you could do it the old fashioned way like they did in the 1900s and email us at the technopod at gmail dot com. We will respond to you and read your email on the show because that's how awesome we are. That is it. For the Technopod show, the awe-inspiring intergalactic adventures of E.T. and Typewriter, I am Typewriter. And I'm E.T. And that's fuck. that's it. Bye. That's it. Ending show recording configuring music.
thank you for listening. This has been a broadcast of the Technopod Studios. Okay, Manny, please, please stop. Just fucking stop. Please, please. God damn it. Do not forget to visit thetechnopod.com. Ending transmission.